think he has. I think you have another one, don't you, Quentin? You got another one to go? That's not it. I don't like that one. Oh, okay. Now, what was the name of the song you just did? Uh, I recognize that. I recognize that. Titanic. Well, that's about right for my career. That's our local talent. Thanks a lot, Quinn. I appreciate Thanks. it. We're going to bring you back on the show for the Christmas show, okay? All right. Thank you. Sounds much. good. Great a round of applause. <laughs> it was making Maggie cry. I was watching her over there. Oh, She's I gonna know. The part where they put. Uh, Reliving what, the Titanic. I love that. They movie. put DiCaprio and they push him into Marano Beach. Remember that, too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was terrible. Up the hood of the car. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> <laughs> he went down. He was tied to the hood of the car. That's why he couldn't come back up. 
Okay, well, let's get back to uh, some more silliness. No. So, Andy, what can people do? What can they do to help the cause, man? And, uh, w is there a number people can get a hold of you? And, uh, yeah, we have a number that you could call. And, uh, I mean, we're going to need all the help we can get because right now it, they're trying to make this pass no matter what. And we've explained and we've worked Well, hard. who's they? I hate to rat people out. Well, it's the uh, uh, Water Conservancy, they're called. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You just got to reach out to them. Yeah. It, it, and, and everybody that's behind that would be like uh, Gloria Molina. Mm -hmm. The county. And, uh, yeah, the county. Uh, Belinda Faustino and uh, Mark Stanley. It just, you know, and they call me and they tell me we want to meet with you privately let's discuss you know what what we could do to help but they're just pulling my leg right you know, we've been through that well don't go if they tell you privately no. you know if it's a parking lot or something, yeah just be careful bring, yeah. bring some backup man. yeah like bring, 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 bring your pots with a palo no bring my mom <laughs> yeah. bring your mom too, I bring man. my mom mom with a chancla <laughs> okay yeah man we'll, we'll get ready we'll get down yeah but we do have a number and it's very important like i said that we you know get everybody involved because pretty soon that's going to be all torn to pieces. And well, with these generations, I'll never get a chance to appreciate that. Yeah. Not all the young people. And you know? people go there and people come from all over. I mean, we, we, my cousins, our family, the kids come and schools come and they ask us to take them on a nature walk and that's what we do. We teach them the culture, the history, the true history of, you know, there I guess it starts with the Indians here and then continues with well, which is it now? Okay, yeah. because everybody wants to be politically correct, and I don't know, maybe I'm, you know, sorry for Native American or Indian? What do you prefer to be called? Indigenous. Indigenous hence no, or what? See, the name American came from Italy. Amerigo Vespucci, yeah. So they branded us and want to give us that name, but we don't really, we just, or it, you're not even the name Indian. Mm -hmm. But we rather, if you want to call it your culture, Indian, that's fine, or Native. Okay. You know. Okay, no, just but what is it? Well, you know. But, but here's the bigger question. How'd you guys survive all these years? Mm -hmm. Hiding. Hey, hid I'm between not. us. You know, right. Right. That's right. <laughs> there comes another message. You're correct. You're correct. That's how it was. That's cool, man. Went underground like right, that. Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's how we saved Robert. Robert, we hit him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we see, and people say, well, you know, you talk about uh, your history, and they right away say, well, you guys are extinct. No, we're only extinct in their books. But yeah, because that's, uh, you know, as a history teacher, that was the number one thing. They said that, you know, the mission Indians right. were wiped out by the, the beloved positives at the mission. Right. You know, and uh, that's what I'm saying. How'd you guys how'd you guys get away, man? What was the, where was the hideout? Let yeah. me know, man. Well, we, that's what I'm it, saying. It was, it was Morano Beach. I knew it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> we hit by the pipes. Huh? Under the bridge. <laughs> Under the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them the story about the Mexican. Yeah. Yeah, please. Because uh, uh, my, our great-great-grandmother, see, we come from, I don't know if, all the missions here, 21 missions, they all have... Uh, uh, stories within the within the mission of uh, uprisings that took effect here in San Gabriel Mission, mm -hmm. and it was led a revolt with the uh, Speech Nation, uh, Indian of Tocorina, and it was our great great grandfather that was also one of the leaders that was behind the revolt. His name is Nicholas Jose. Mm -hmm. He was from the village of. Beach or Savanna, you know, down the street over here, uh, you know, the little there by Rosemead uh, Park across the street, there's an old tiny cemetery mm -hmm. called mm -hmm. the Savannah. Mm -hmm. Well, that used to be called Savanna before, but when the Anglos came here, they could not pronounce Savanna, so they changed it to Savannah. But that was the village area. That village area went from there, came into El Monte, where where they have the park here by the San Gabriel. I mean by the El Monte. Uh, airport, north, of, and then it went south into Whittier and Aaron, in that area. It was a rancheria. But one of our great-great-grandmothers uh, in about 1824-26 survived a massacre that took place here in San Gabriel when she was about 14 years. This is oral history, and all our family knows it. And, and uh, right when I, when I tell you the story, I'm going to tell you what we found. So, uh, as a little girl, she was taken by the Mexican government. Uh, at the time, there was a ward there at the San Gabriel Mission where the 
uh, Mexican government was trying to take over the mission because of the gold that the Spanish left in the mission. So the Padre, they just say they don't talk about the Padre there and the, uh, uh, the mission itself is to guard this, arm the Indians to protect the mission. In doing so, mm -hmm. they killed about 3,000 Indians right there at San Gabriel Mission. How convenient. Let's push them to the and front. Yeah, yeah. And they buried them there in that well. Amazing. Where today they got a sign there where it says that they died of smallpox and this and that. No, that's, that's fake. That's not the true history. They died protecting the mission because of the gold. And, my, and, mm -hmm. and when that happened, the Mexican <coughs> government went into San Gabriel to the areas where they knew the Indians were living and took them out of their homes and took them into a royal seco. From a royal seco, they were they uh, were directed into Las Flores Canyon, up towards where the Rose Bowl's at, down up Lake, mm -hmm. where it's where it's, it's called the Gates today. Or right. Devil's what do they call it? Devil's Gates or up up to the end there, where it, it, it was a canyon, where there was a cutoff, a, a dead end, and they just bombarded them and can, cannonballed them and and massacred hundreds of Indians there. And there was Indians that were seen as kids that fled into the mountains and hid. And they saw, they stood two weeks, three weeks. They came back into San Gabriel, started knocking at the doors. The neighbors, where, where's this lady going? They killed mama, they killed daddy, grandpa, everything. Get in, get in. They came in, they gave them, you know what, you're going to have this name now, Rodriguez, Ramos, there you whatever. Go. And you're not going to kill your Indians. Live here. That's why in the census records, when we do, when when we were doing, we're getting ready for federal recognition. Right. We have to prove that we existed and and, and still exist. And still mm -hmm. exist. Right. So the census record shows you that there was Mexican families, and at the bottom there were two Indians, or the neighbor had three Indians, and they were sisters of that one, and brothers of that one. They were all scattered in different houses, hiding, and those were my grandfathers and grandmothers. See? And um, during that research and, and process of, of gathering all that information, it was oral history, and we wanted to find it out. It's got to be something that we could prove to the government that this mm -hmm. exists. So my cousin and them were going through the archives at the Huntington Library, and they were researching and going through all the paperwork when she pulled out an old document from 1824 about that time. And she started reading it, and he the person that's telling you the, the story is Feliz Lugo, who had, right there at the nature center where they want to tear it up, he had a little rancho there. He lived there. And he's telling the story because he saw it with his own eyes. And he talks exactly of that massacre that happened up there. Wow. Yeah. So are we talking genocide or what? We're talking genocide. But we were able to survive. That's why we're here. See, my father's last name. My father has the Indian blood from his mother and his grandfather. They come from the Perez Nieto family, okay. who were the ones that named, named Los Nietos Los Nietos. Right, Nietos. right. Yeah, they were Spanish soldiers, Mayodromos, managers of the missions, but they had mistresses, Indian women, and those were my grandmothers. So they, that family there, are the original Perez Nieto family right here. From Santa Fe Springs or Los Nietos, right here. Right, Los yeah. Nietos, yeah. And my my grandpas were the ones, the the with their with their uh, with my great great uncles that got one of the largest land grants here in California, which was three hundred and sixty thousand acres, Bolsa Chica, Los Alamitos. That's when this was under the rule of Spain. I was gonna say, you're gonna take it back. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'd help them out. Hey, we'll go, man. I'll bring, I'll bring my oh, shovel. Could you imagine what they do to me? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man, you know me the space. Yeah, well, you know, they're always looking for something to do for yeah. when they need hobbies. Yeah. What do you think, Maggie, a documentary? I love it. Oh See? No. I saw Maggie's eyes sparkling. Yeah. This should be the first one. I think it should be the first one. Thank you. Yeah, Good round of applause. Yeah, what do you guys think? Should we do a documentary? A Thanksgiving. And I want to, you know, uh, like they would say, I don't want to say anything to hurt anybody. Knock it. But see, <laughs> yeah, 
But see, Thanksgiving for us, we do celebrate with our families and we eat like everybody else and we dress up now. We're not bringing around no gifts or anything like that, right? <laughs> no, we but need uh, that for other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, Thanksgiving was a time of celebration for the Anglos. And he celebrated that day with Washington, made it a, a holiday. He celebrated that day because each time the army, the United States Army, would go into a village, they would massacre the villages, women, children, everybody. And after that, they would throw a celebration. And this was every single day that they would do it. So the president said, you know what? We can't keep doing that every single day. So we'll do it once a year. So they did this day, November 28th. And they replaced the Thanksgiving Day? That's yeah. And I held all the documents to prove <laughs> and, that I And they replaced the Indians with turkeys. Right. It's a win for you, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. A, it's massacre the turkeys. And, now, they, and the bottom line, you know, you look at it, and they kind of just took our kindness for weakness, right? Yeah, we well, of course. We people. We've always, we still. But they always do that. See, that's, that's the, you know, it, and that, that still continues oh. today in real life, right? Am Unbelievable. Right? Isn't, isn't that true? Yeah. The people are nice. They take it for weakness. Yeah, that is so true. And that's with your ancestors because of Mexicanos, all of them. Oh, look, he points to the God. Putting the devil on me. Your ancestors. <laughs> right? All of us. Yes. You know? Mm-hmm. And no. we're the only people that got to prove that we if we exist or we have blood or we got, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know? see, the sad part about my family, you know, I was a full Aztec Indian on my grandmother's side, and uh, my father was, uh, great-great-grandfather was at the Alamo, one of the, you know, the crazy Mexicans that fought on the Texan side. Yep. So, you know, and uh, fortunately, he got a Christian burial, so all is good in Dylan still here. But you know, it's just the kind of thing where, like, people constantly, you give them an inch, they take a whole mile, all right? And that's an unfortunate yeah, thing. That's we're gonna, we're gonna, I have some more questions to bring to you, but we need Gilbert Stokes up here. Mr. Stokes, are you in the house? You ready to go, boss? We gotta entertain the <coughs> tribe, otherwise, man, they're not gonna let you leave. <laughs> Let's have a round of applause for Mr. Gilbert Stokes. still remember all the joy that she would bring I sit here alone in memory I hear the past gently echoing I remember my children when they go to sleep after dark Stay. 